Hello, welcome back to Relationship Live. Today we're gonna be doing a 3D therapy using two different apps. It's uh, Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. Okay, so there is no, you don't need to be panic. Uh, basically, it's, it's gonna be really easy. Even if you don't know 3D, you can do this with iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. I might do a little bit of Blender a bit later, but yeah, let's get started. So Nomad Sculpt. So this is what I created last night. This is a uh, kind of like a vampire mouth and the tongue. But then the vampire is about to bite his own tongue or something. And that's Nomad Sculpt and this is Procreate. So this is the result. Um, yeah, why do we need two different apps? Um, so basically we Procreate recently they enabled this ability to be able to paint in 3D and you have these layers and then you also have like a PBR color roughness metallic so you can paint this like in 3D software like Blender so yeah let's get started and recently just recently also uh, Nomad Sculpt have a way for you to do the UV UV is that thing in the background it's kind of if you have like a 3d objects and then you you cut it uh, you make like a seam and then you cut it like a cloth and then seam it uh, stitch everything together you get the 3d object back uh, yeah so if you cut the surface of 3d objects and then lay it out like a cloth this is what you see this is like the UV you can see it's very dense um, normally you want to do like a quick retopology and that's something that you can do in blender a little bit easier but if you want to work just uh, on your iPad while on the go because blender you cannot install blender uh, currently in on on the inside the iPad so you need you probably want to use nomad scalp and procreate okay so that's the basic idea so when you first started Nomad Sculpt, you get something like this and you can switch between different app. There are many tools. You can play around with all the tools. Um, like uh, for example, clay. So by default, you, you might also notice that the, the brush stroke has symmetry turned on. This is some, something that uh, Procreate actually does not help uh, does not have at the moment if you're doing the 3d painting but nomad sculpt actually have it and with nomad you have like different brushes you can do like uh, the opposite of the brush you can do like drag so it's pretty cool it's pretty fast you can smooth you can do the masking that's actually a little bit more technical I'm not gonna do that there's a flatten I skip to that tools Flat. And if you have like a 3D objects, you want to turn it something into yeah that looks like a, something that could be put on the floor. You want to do like a flatten. That's anyway that's flatten, and then you can have layer crease, inflate, all sort of thing. But anyway, we won't be using uh, all of these tools. Just maybe a couple. Um, we actually have paint right inside normal sculpt nomad sculpt you can do like painting and the painting is actually a PBR so it's physically based material so you can have like a gold or like a plastic looking surface very very easily and you can colorize areas this is something that you can export into blender but the color here will not transfer to procreate at the moment because this is actually painting it on the vertex color okay so in that case we're gonna lose this color when we actually do the uv and then transfer it into procreate at the moment we cannot bake this vertex color all right so that's the technicality um, of it um, but for now anyway if you want to do like a uv quick uv this is how um, so you have in this mode you have multi-resolution multi voxel the dynamic topology 
so you can read top all but don't worry about that for now just do the UV UV auto unwrap just do that okay this might take a while depending on your iPad I should have done like an export beforehand so we can play around in blender but anyway yeah it's gonna take it might take a while mm. okay if we switch to blender right if you want to do like a 3d sculpting you go to new and then go to sculpting mode this is one way to do it you are presented with the same sphere ball and you get a lot of tools for sculpting also here like draw and yes yeah, subdivide whatever similar thing um with blender also uh by default this object doesn't have uv so you probably if you want to do like a quick texture painting it's gonna complain missing uv texture missing uv and missing image texture so you cannot paint right away this is exactly the same case with procreate you need to have uv beforehand you need to lay out this surface so you know in blender in order to do that you just go to edit mode hitting tab and then you go to f3 smart uv project and you gotta select the objects first and then f3 smart uv now we have a uv now that we have UV with seam, etc., we can start texture painting in Blender. Oh, actually, we need to also have texture material, base color. Uh, yeah, and you can start painting. This is um, something that Blender can do. Uh, you can do like using texture to do the painting, but Blender cannot do PBR or layering or texturing. Uh, I mean, it's not like procreate anyway so just a you know quick information there so back to nomad nomad scout okay it's asking me to save by default okay we have these weird objects if i want to transfer this to procreate for painting i can use GLTF OBJ STL. Okay, OBJ is a good one, but like I said, you will lose the informations. Just send it to Procreate. It's gonna import it. Inside Procreate, you can start painting. So this is a uh, this is what I mean by 3D therapy. I mean, in reality, I mean, we have some kind of form. It's abstract looking form, and you can start painting. That's a uh, that's all there is to it and you have a lot of options like different brush to do the painting and you can go really abstract i like to start with uh, this one actually calligraphy and the uh, water water pen i like this one because it's like a little bit like watercolor whoops oh it's dark color and you can just start painting like crazy and this one have a nice feel about it with the brush it feels like a natural brush you can actually do like uh, super abstract things today I, I want to do something that, that's not just abstract looking but I just want to show you the process anyway beforehand <laughs> look we have some kind of material here this is actually quite interesting with material it's working with a PBR material <clears throat> so it has like roughness metalness and diffuse that you can control here and then all together is creating a uh, nice variations this is still like a early version of procreate painting or maybe it is <clears throat> just pretty much what it is you know procreate is i think created more like by designers while nomad sculpt is created by more like a 3d developer um i mean there's like a lot of overlap of course i'm just guessing but uh they kind of merging together i think graphic design or motion graphic designer and 3d are get together you know like a 2d artist 3d artist now you kind of want to learn both 
anyway this is abstract stuff and you know I, I can just export this out as USDZ and I can I can actually test this out in 3d with different light so that's cool okay cool and then you know this you can send it to your iPhone you can actually print this out or something like that don't worry about that for now let's start from begin uh, from beginning create something that's not just abstract looking okay so you I'm gonna show you uh, so if it's something that's not abstract we might um, want to make like a like a character this is the easiest I think this is the easiest here yeah. what I did was simply using move or drag tools and I created something that looks like a character like a like a Kermit the Frog uh, like a Muppet this is the easiest okay if you miss this one I will do it again create new yes this brush uh, drag brush can push and pull areas of surface okay so if you go to the side view like this you can create like a mouth quite easily so this is I think a good start for any simple <clears throat> like a Muppet Muppet like characters and you can start thinking about okay since this is inside of the mouth you can sculpt like a tongue or teeth uh, things like that the symmetry is on by default you can actually turn that off so you can have like non-symmetry when you're doing like a pushing pulling and moving yeah uh, it might stretch the polygon too much so you want to actually decimate it and you want to you want to decimate you can you want to voxelize and tell it to remesh the surface so it is good uh, let me just I don't have keyboard you just name it whatever okay yeah it's it's already been remeshed now so it's surface is nice and even so we can continue sculpting so that's basically the idea I'm gonna switch to brush okay you create a exactly like Kermit the Frog sort of anyway you can have multiple eyes I'm still having the symmetry turned on. I just maybe make it like a tooth. Kermit the Vampire Frog. Super basic one, but you feel free to play around with the tools anyway. So like I said, you can do the painting here with the different material. But this is using vertex color and procreate will not read the vertex color I don't think it cannot bake the color either but I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you anyway so this is if you are doing the painting inside nomad sculpt this is actually colorizing the vertex color using uh, brush so the brush is really simple, but then the, the PBR material is quite unique in itself. Just painting with vertex. You can do the same thing in Blender. Uh, what else? You can pick a color like this Let's put the lips. Okay, since this is like a still inside Nomad Sculpt, you can pick a brush tools and then make like a some kind of lips for the froggy and go back to paint mode you can actually paint and uh, while sculpting inside nomad which is pretty cool so 
Let's do like the inside of the mouth, pick a color. Well, you can do whatever here. Remember this mesh actually doesn't have UV yet and we want to do the UV very soon. Yeah, this is this part. Okay, something something pretty hideous, but we can send it send this to computer first as GLTF. Send it to Blender. Blender airdrop. Yeah, sending it to myself. Accept. So back, oops, back to Blender. So just now it's this model, Chan Mail. Okay, don't worry, don't worry about it. That's my Twitter. So, okay. File, import, GLB. And go to downloads. Toy. Okay, we have the toy here. So in Blender, of course, you know, there's nothing here. The, the, this surface is quite dense. Normally, you want to do retopo and remesh, and then you bake the vertex color. So that's actually something you need. You actually want to know how to do it. If you look at it using vertex color, you can see the vertex color is there. But if you want to set it up for the shader, we, we have to do something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you very quickly. Before I do that in Blender, okay, let's go back to iPad. I will um, do the UV. This might take a while, okay. Unwrap Atlas. Okay, this will take a few minutes on my old iPad. My iPad is actually, this is the old one from 2015. Anyway, while it's doing its stuff, back to Blender. You can see the vertex color. There are two vertex color. The second one is actually for metalness and roughness. This is usually what you want to do if you want to do to get into technical. And I believe the red is for roughness and G for metalness. So you get what you have inside Nomad Sculpt. And normally, in order to paint this, you want to bake it. You want to bake the vertex color into the image as well. So this is the toy frog. Even though you have the color here, all good. If you want to do like a texture painting, it will complain. Missing UV, missing textures, and then this vertex color is not directly related to image texturing. Anyway, I'll, we're gonna continue with that later. Um, we have the UV now, okay. That's the UV, you can turn it on and off. Okay, not too bad. This, like I said, this is actually quite dense. Normally you will not do painting on this kind of density, but you can anyway. Export as OBJ now that it has UV we can send it to procreate and start 3d painting that's basically the process and uh, I call it like a 3d therapy because once you have like a 3d objects 3d model and start painting it's actually feel uh, it feels quite relaxing yeah and we can do some neat Thing here with procreate is something you can just drag and drop uh, into this base layer sometimes the funny thing is sometimes it will actually understand the plate of the UV right this is quite interesting <laughs> yeah see this is what I, when I when I say it about UV and if you cut the surface of the 3d objects and then laid it out like a cloth this is what you get. Okay, so that's uh, something to know. So let's uh, let's actually play around with this. We can we can grab any color, and I already choose my brush, water pen, and we can start painting. You know, this character seems to be like a, a 
a mixture mixture of different surface stitched together so it's a it's cool you know it's a cool idea and you can kind of work on that idea you're basically free with this uh kind of like, like a tree therapy you can model anything so this is pretty cool already uh, and you can use any brush and then no um, no expectation you know you can just do whatever and then okay there's a seam there don't worry you can make mistakes also and then just pick a color for the eyeballs yellow color whatever blue green blue We don't have purple, so I will use purple. I will use all colors, always. I don't care. It's, uh, it's my thing. Since it's like a Kermit, Kermit the Frog. We can make something fancy with the eyeballs here. Square. Just make a sketch there. This one, triangle. Squid game. <laughs> Squid game whatever okay yeah cool the teeth you might notice we don't have like the mirror thing like inside nomad sculpt so we you have to do both sides separately that's okay it's almost like a real painting so there is no shortcut inside of the mouth oh, we can do fancy things fancy color inside of the mouth usually like pinkish color or the gum the gum can be pinkish. So again, I'm using this my favorite water pen color, uh, water pen water pen brush. You can use other like blotchy. Yeah, full freedom. This is the basic idea. Okay, you can try different brush and see how it goes it's gonna give a different texture this one kind of overlapping and yeah that's okay that's cool the tongue the tongue can be blue purple purple tongue this guy yeah that doesn't look like I, I switch back to water pen. Character have a tongue. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, maybe give like a yeah. I like the bright color, so just go crazy with this. Okay, we have something we have color this is only one surface we can have more layers and let's switch to material now we have material <laughs> where should we start black wood let's try if you hold using your finger and hold a color you can grab a color and then start painting this will add a texture to your to your 3d surface Feel free to overlap, you know, doing something a bit crazy that's adding some texture quality to it. Go to Tony. What is this doing? Okay, this one is adding some kind of darkness. Yeah. Why not, you know, this character just lack of sleep, bit of stressed looking character, but it's pretty cool looking. Just, just follow your instinct. Um, sometimes you want to have some kind of reference. Feel free to do that. Yeah, let's see for the lips. I'm gonna use the same technique. Finger, select different brush and then wow. Start painting, wow. 
That's crazy. Let's try this one. Select this color. Start painting this one. Also adding some kind of material into our character. No obligations. Just do it. You are making a piece of art that's also like kind of like a therapy. Since we are already in a procreate and painting, right? Remember, you cannot do 3D sculpting, sculpting and would be cool if we can go back and forth between the two, like Nomad Sculpt, back to this guy, things like that. Maybe in the near future. It's a, still kind of like a work in progress, I think. Look, I just add like this gold, this metalness into the eyeballs and looking kind of nice. Same thing I will do. Select that color, just add a material around it. So we have some kind of metalness reflections. Yeah, cool. This this is my favorite. Some kind of texture because this is the this is the preset brush from Procreate, and we can simply use it. It's really giving those like panther looking texture. Actually, when doing this, you know, it's, it feels a little bit like uh, the 90s Save by the Bell kind of TV program. You might never heard it, but I watch Save by the Bells. It's a thing. It's probably a Canadian TV show. Okay. Continue. The tongue. Let's give some kind of surface there. See, this is nice. So add it to the lips. Just really add a lot of personality to these creations. <laughs> and once you've done it, you, you can save it. You can export it out as 3D USDJ, USDZ. Oh, you. you can view this in AR. I think it might crash on my old iPad. It might not. Yeah, it's. Mm, I think it's exporting it into AR. You wanna access the camera? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is all using my old iPad. My old iPad. It's not too bad. Yeah. Don't worry about that for now. Really, if you want to see this. You want to share as mp4 you can do that square this is the quick preview as a video yeah anyway usdz share as usdz i'm gonna share it to my computer and gonna take a look save to airdrop to my computer except Done. Okay. Check a look. Uh, take a look at the layering. You see. If you don't like it, you can always redo the setup. The cool thing about Procreate, of course, you can change the layering. You can play around with the different roughness. You can use like a like just like inside Photoshop. You can change the blending. Pretty cool. Yeah, Blender doesn't have this, by the way. So it's it's cool that we can have it just on the iPad. And I'm using really old iPad, which is nice. Okay, yeah, we have the frog character. If, if we are back to Blender, I mean, this is what we just created using the Procreate. You can send this to your iPhone, you send it to your friend, and you can use it inside Reality Composer app or make into AR or Lens or you know whatever do nft or whatever you can sell it back to blender inside blender this one if we want to bake this thing from nomad sculpt you can and it, normally 
like I say, we don't work with this kind of resolutions. We want to, we want to uh, properly retopple. We want to reduce the the resolutions first. There are many ways to do it. One of them is using Foxel Quadriflow Remesh. It's one way to do it. Turn off mesh symmetry. This will reduce the number of polygon. Okay, like like a lot. This one, uh, and we can actually transfer the normal etc. to the new surface. So let's save this. This is the new one. Okay, low polygon. Much more efficient, and we want to transfer the texture. And the way to do it is just simply using image editor, create a new texture, resolutions, and then here shift A, create image texture, grab this guy, select this, select our objects, and then shift select the other one, cycles, and you want to bake. We're gonna bake. We're gonna try and bake the diffuse color first. No active UV. Okay, I forgot. This need active UV. Go to edit mode, select all F3 smart UV project. I will do it as fast as I can. Option G. Back to original. Now we can do bake. No active UV layer. That's interesting. I did. Mm, okay, we need to turn on. Select it to active. Okay, I forgot. Big. It's gonna take a look at the new surface, compare it to the original surface, and do the baking. It's gonna do. Um, it's gonna do this cycles X. Actually, it's gonna do a lot of resembling. You can actually cancel this. You can get a result right away. This is baking. So you might actually want to use this and then send it to Procreate. It will actually work. So this is the diffuse color. And then we can do the roughness and bake. This is the resampling. We cannot see the preview. We can cancel it, but you can see the result right away. This is the roughness. And metalness, we don't have metalness. Specular. Uh, I guess don't worry about that. We can select the low poly anyway, and then file export GLB. Include selected objects only. That's our iPad. Reality Composer. This is normally uh, the technical stuff that you you will do. This is our original frog. This is the one that has been optimized. Diffuse roughness. The bake is looking slightly weird compared to the original but I think we did it really roughly okay we might when we are doing the baking I think diffuse color we want to use a little bit of cage something like that bake Yeah, this result is much better.
okay yeah this one we can actually send to the iPad to procreate it's already been optimized and also it has color from nomad sculpt so wait yeah so this color is from nomad sculpt And the UV. Have to turn off the UV. Okay. Yeah. If we take a look. Yeah, okay. We have this transferred into Blender into <coughs> Procreate. Now that it is inside Procreate, we can actually do like a painting. It's up to you if you want a little bit of more technicality of course like with blender you can do more but the combination of the three you know like uh, nomad scalp blender procreate is gonna be a lot more powerful we can do like painting oh the seam is going on so far we only like use like a automatic UV normally you want to spend some time to do like a UV layout as well so that's more like a for professional Kind of workflow but if you're just doing it for like a 3d 3d therapy just for fun you can just use nomad scalp and procreate using automatic uv it's fine it's nothing wrong I like my favorite color, uh, tool is the water pen with a, because with water pen it feels like real brush you're really painting on this thing like a Kermit the frog has really interesting eyes like that like a real frog so it's always like looking slightly sleepy nice like some kind of tribes looking yep beautiful now my ipad is frozen but i think maybe i, I did something a little bit too fast sometimes because this is old ipad procreate undo can uh takes a lot of memories on my ipad but it save it it save it on every uh, on every stroke so don't worry about it too much it's just amazing so that that this thing can work with my old ipad i really appreciate it whoops i like the material let's just yeah now we have two different design of this froggy one of them is more optimized definitely Oh, the texture is 1024 by 1024 this one higher higher resolution mesh with different design but we got both of them we can send it to your friend or something send it to your family anyway so yeah that's a quick look at how you can do like a quick 3d therapy design i did a couple of design even like with the torus here it's fun 
just doing this for many hours per day after 10 after 10,000 hours you might actually come out with something you know like your own style this is the abstract things that we created earlier so yeah so that's uh, nomad sculpt and procreate the latest version of nomad sculpt that actually give us the uv that's is a huge thing again uh, so thanks for the developer it's just amazing maybe tomorrow i can continue and yeah make like a daruma or something oh i i made this i painted this the other day actually on my different ipad where is it here Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. There is one more tool that I actually really like before I forgot. Brush. My favorite spray. Spray paint. This one is super cool. Just looking like a real spray paint and really add a lot of character. Okay, so this one happy frog. Anyway, hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.